guys, just doing an update review on how to update your Android home screen. Uh, this time, this is with the HTC One M8, uh, the silver, I think it's glacial, however it's described. Uh, this is actually from the AT&T variation. This one, this color, just came out Friday the 25th, I think. This, this is the past Friday that just came through. Um, I actually exchanged the S5 that I had for this one. Uh, for you know personal reasons I know everybody has their opinions on what phone is better but in my personal opinion I think this phone is by far better you know I could do without the waterproof and the exchangeable battery so that being said uh, starting out, oh one thing I just do want to mention though if you do end up getting this one or the, the other the gunmetal one uh, you know just be careful with it or get a case I ordered some thin cases uh, I think a day before I got them but it was it was too late because I ended up dropping it the first day I got it, and I'll try to focus there if I can. Uh, oh well, well there you go. Well, there's just a few nicks here and up here. You know, it didn't. I didn't drop it that hard, but now, you know now I kind of feel like the the phone doesn't look ugly, but you know it bugs me a little bit. But the cases I ordered should kind of cover them here, and you know I, I love carrying the phone without a case, but thankfully the cases I found were very very thin, so. They'll protect it from scratches and you know decent drops maybe not a hard drop but oh well so going into the phone um, again ex from my previous video kind of explained how to get uh, you know a pretty cool Android home screen look uh, with a, another home launcher and how to mask your regular icons on your regular home launcher the stock one whether you're using TouchWiz or sense or whatever else you use so uh, to get the best experience, I think you need a, another home launcher. So what I have here is Nova Launcher. I have the Pro version. Uh, probably run you about three or four bucks. I can't remember how much it is now. Um, so uh, I just love the customization that comes with this. So in order to get it to look like this, what you'll do is go into the settings. And first off for the grid, I have it by default at 7 over 6. Uh, you can kind of tweak it and see how they fit tighter or better. Uh, to me, they just they fit pretty nicely like that. So I do that by seven by six, and there's actually that's supposed to be a dock, but I took out the icons there and just left the the app drawer and placed them up here. So that's how it all fits there like that. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, under look and feel, uh, under their icon theme, all your icons will show up. Uh, all the icon packs will show up. I'm sorry. The ones that I like that I've downloaded recently is Veller, which is the one I'm using that you just saw. Moonshine's okay. It's just it's very limited on how much they have. They have like under a hundred, I think. So uh, unless you unless you have under a hundred apps, you know, and even at that, who knows if it'll be masked or not. Uh, I like Lumos. Lumos is all right. Ivory would be my second favorite. My first favorite is Velard, and Blooms. Blooms is actually still updating a, uh, a lot. They have a ton, but they haven't masked everything I have, so that's why I don't I don't use them yet. But this guy pushes out updates, you know, weekly at least. So I have a Velour, which you see how Ivory looks. That's what Ivory looks. Ivory is all like a plain white out icon pack. So I just prefer uh, Velour. Uh, go up here. Another thing that kind of, it doesn't irk me because I can fix it. But the thing you should be aware of is that Sense 6 has like tiny icons. So in order to, to get them bigger, I have to make them bigger up here under icon size. So I have mine increased at 115% which look that big you know I can go back here and make them the regular size down to a hundred and you know you'll see the difference they're a lot tinier so that's by default how they look so going back in here uh, icon size going back up to 115 okay so if you do the 7 by 6 thing you'll get the icons looking like that in the center which uh, there's a lot of people I follow on Google Plus for ideas about themes or uh, how to make your home screen. And from what I've seen, the majority of the people have their setup kind of like this. They'll have a widget up here, weather clock, whatever, you know, floats their boat. And then they got they got them tightly packed like that, which I, I think I think looks good. And a lot, a lot of people, you know, have it like that. It's from the ones I've been seeing on Google Plus. So I've been kind of followed suit and, you know, done the same. Um... The reason for that being there is actually a quick mention uh, if anybody else has this problem. I have noticed that the device is kind of tall as well as a lot of other people have mentioned. 
Um, I haven't found anything to kind of fix the power button problem as far as having to touch it to, to make it sleep. And I know there's an app called Knock Lock, but it doesn't really work very well because it wherever it is that you're touching, it kind of uh, it grays out, not grays out, but it disables whatever's there. So if you go into your app drawer and the Knock Lock space is there, you won't be able to touch whatever app is there. So I have that just for quick toggle so that I don't have to actually reach all the way into here. But another thing is that... Um, Another thing that kind of bothered me was like going into the settings or just go, uh, going into any kind of toggle up here. So that's why I have that up there. But another thing I like about this launcher is that the gestures it has implemented in it. Uh, for example, I have the double tap going into Nova settings. I have the swipe up going into regular settings. And for notifications, I don't have to actually reach up to the notification bar. I can reach down here and then it'll automatically go down. So... I, that's to kind of help out with you know one-handed use so uh, again these widgets up here from my previous video or video sorry I haven't regressing on grammar um, these widgets are from Zuper Pro well there's a there's a free version there's a paid version I would get the paid version so these are from Zuper Pro um, the majority of the ones I get are from Beard and I think he just has some phenomenal looking uh, yeah, some phenomenal looking widgets. So up here, what I usually do, so it comes out like that just because you have it by seven. If you do it like I did, it's it's on by seven by six. So it's initially going to be, you know, tiny. So you got to kind of increase it. Now, the problem with that is it increases, but it doesn't refit there. So what you want to do is go up here to layout and everything's broken down into categories. It'll go by the hours. The rect is whatever shape is on there. So if there's more than one shape, you just kind of have to play with it to know which one it's um, designated at. And then the date and then the minutes. So if you go into hours up here, you can kind of tweak um, how far up to go. That way, you can align it right to the center. And date, I'll go. Everything's going to fit nicely on there. It's about like that. And then the rectangle, I like to make that, um, I like to make it wider and then thinner so okay and then once you hit home it'll reapply which you probably already did yeah probably already did so you know that's how to change those this this by far is probably the the best weather widget i found it automatically updates every two hours by default you can increase or decrease that um uh, what else uh again that's just there to kind of help me out with the notification bars but uh, another thing I get from Google Plus are these really cool wallpapers you go in here in the gallery uh, these are all the ones I've downloaded from there so uh, they're really really nice that's probably my favorite one but again says, Done. This goes really well with that icon pack. So again, the icon pack I'm using is Veller. I'm, I'm, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And this launcher I'm using is Nova Launcher Pro. And these are uh, Zuper widgets by Beard. The specific ones I'm using. And that's a HD widget. widget. <laughs> uh, so those are just switches that I use that are more convenient for me. So 